Hello everyone! Merry Christmas! I hope you guys are having a very good Christmas. Even if it's not Christmas, I hope you guys did have a good Christmas. Now today is going to be my second video going over this deck of cards I got for Christmas. If you missed my first deck review I got for Christmas, be sure to check that out because I just made that video before I made this one. Now this deck of cards doesn't look like a deck. It looks like a carry or a takeout box for a pizza. Now that's because these are pizza playing cards. If you look, it says hot and delicious, made just for you. Then there's a little Italian guy right there with some pizza, and uh, looks like the smell might be coming up. This is Gamago pizza playing cards. Then it's just like a white for a carryout box. On the side here, it says takeaway pizza has like a like a checker pattern almost. I don't know if you guys know what those look like checkers pattern. Then this says, thank you for your business. Then I already got into this box, so that's why it's like this. This flap isn't supposed to be like this. But this says, hot delicious pizza, please call again. So on the back, it has two eight of hearts, a king of clubs, and a slice of pizza. And this little paragraph right, right here... I'm actually going to read that off. It says, What's better than playing cards and eating pizza? Playing with pizza cards while eating pizza. Packed in their own pizza box. The only thing you'll miss is the warm, delicious smell. Pizza cards, you know you need them. Now, originally, need, when someone says that I need this, is about N-E-E-D. Now, when I think about pizza, one of the steps to make pizza is you have to knead the dough. So this is about K-N-E-A-D. You won't be able to see it, but that's, the, but that's what it says. Now, if I can find a link for these, I will leave these down below. And I will leave Gamago.com down below. Because it mentions that right here on the bottom. Gamago.com So if we open up the box here, this takeout box... For our pizza. Let's take out the pizza. Here. Looks like some cards. Got left behind. Or actually some pieces of pizza. Okay. So right thing. One thing right off the bat. Don't know if you can notice. Is. That here is the. Pizza crust. Here's the pepperoni. It's shaped like a piece of pizza. These are paper thin. Okay, so these would not be good for magic. These are just for collectibles. And then there's like some low spice or something on there. Give you guys a good look at that for a while. I love pizza, but goodness. When I got these, I freaked out. So if we look... For the Jokers, okay, right here, let's move this box out of the way. Here's the two Jokers. If you check out my last deck review, you'll see what I'm going to talk about here. Pay attention to how these Jokers are, how they're spelled in black, okay, they're black. Now right here, you'll see part of his shirt is kind of grayish in a way. So pay attention to... His gray like collar right there. And then the black joker right here. You see it's red. It's not gray, it's red. Then the joker is red too. That's the only difference I want you guys to pay attention for. Now enough with the drop the joker there. See if I can grab it. Okay. So if we go through the cards here, I'm just going to go right through how they are organized. Ace. It's just a regular black ace. We have the king. Turn this ace around here. King. Try to leave that up for some minutes. 
Notice the colors, too, like the yellows and the reds. Now, if you check out my five-star casino poker playing cards deck review, you'll notice how the eyes are so blue and, like, tight. Well, not tight, but it looks like they're shutting their eyes almost. So I think the word is mascara that you put under your eyes. That's what it looks like almost. Actually, let me actually get a face card. Did I do... Okay. Uh, trying to get a good face card here so that I can show you guys. Okay, here we go. Perfect. So we have right here... So check out this Queen of Hearts, okay? Check out this Queen of Hearts. Look at, first of all, look at this Queen of Hearts eyes. Look at that. Now, look at this Queen of Heart. Can't actually see their eyes. That's the only thing I wanted to show you. Gotta yeah, put this Queen back until it's time to show her. Seven. So it's like normal bicycle almost. But they did do it a little differently because you can't get it perfect with. There I go dropping cards. Because you can't get it perfect when you have Pisa playing cards. Oh, that's it. See, I even drop them. So I would not use these for magic. But they are a good collectible. Blit collectibles. There's the king. Wow, goodness. My last deck review went better than this. So there you go. Let me try to square these up real quick. This is a four. That's a three. Okay, here we go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, king, queen, jack, ten, nine, Hey, I'm going through them a little fast because they're almost like bicycles. I know that my videos have been very long and I don't want to bore you guys because I know I can't sit through like a 10 minute magic video unless it's a really good topic or a trick they're doing. So we look at these, we see that they're diff that they're like the same. Okay, now I'm going to attempt to shuffle these cards, because I was able to shuffle the other cards here, so the closest deck I have here are these gold cards. Look at these, these are square. The spectator can easily take these and give them a good shuffle, and you can say, go ahead, pick a card, Okay, but with these. Also, one more thing I want to point out. These probably aren't from USPCC, but if you look, there are scan lines. You probably can't see. Uh, yeah, right about there. Because these are some lines. Now, I can't even shuffle these. I looked them over. I was like, uh, yeah. When the cards are starting to come apart, look at that, the two. Look at that, the two of diamonds. Goodness, even have these for a whole day. Unless you want someone to shuffle cards like this. It's not even even. I wouldn't recommend using these for magic. But they are a cool collector's item. So that's it. These were the Gamago Pisa Playing Cards deck review. Hope you guys liked it. If you didn't check out my first deck review, be sure to do that. If you haven't seen my other videos, be sure to do that. 
Stay tuned for the next two episodes. It's going to be a card trick and a tutorial. And then after that, going to be another force. These are the only decks of cards I got for Christmas, which I'm happy with. At least I got some deck, some decks. So yeah, be sure to stay tuned for the next few videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Might be the Russian genius there. Oh, if you guys didn't see Russian Genius, make sure to check him out. Peace.